come to the conclusion that no matter what I do, I'm not going to be able to fix these teeth here on the sides. They are crooked, they're uneven, and there's just no way that I can fix that and make it look decent. Uh, I can't get in there with little files, even all the little Dremel attachments aren't going to even things up. There uh, a couple of them are on different levels and uh, it's just going to be quicker and easier and better in the long run to redo those. So that's basically what I'm doing. Uh, I already cut out this side. You can see here, I cut out the teeth on this side. I still have to cut this side out obviously. I've been trying to think of a better way to do these teeth uh, rather than using the paper. So what I came up with on my first try is uh, I got a piece of hardboard. Uh, if you don't know what this is, it's basically sort of like MDF or medium density fiber board. Uh, this was actually a piece of a clipboard that you would uh, stick a piece of paper on and write on. Most of those are usually made out of this hardboard material. It's about an eighth of an inch thick, which is the perfect thickness uh, for these teeth. I picked it up at the dollar store for a buck. So uh, that's the material that I'm using. Uh, what I had originally planned to do was cut out these rectangles, which is the size of the Pepakura teeth. You can see right here uh, when they're all laid together and spaced apart evenly. I got that measurement on the length and on the width. And I cut these rectangles out. And basically I cut out all the paper little teeth here and I transferred those over to this hardboard material and I cut them all out that's what all these pieces are here I cut all those little teeth out on a, uh, a scroll saw and what I had planned to do was once these were all cut out I was gonna sand them and file them so that they're all straight and you know perfect and looking good and then I was going to glue those on top of this rectangle piece and that would basically give me my depth that I needed uh, and I would fiberglass that in when I was all done so you can see uh, you know what I was sort of going for but uh, that really didn't work out either because no matter how precise I was cutting these out uh, it's just impossible, or damn near impossible, to uh, to get everything to fit together and to be spaced correctly. Uh, it was basically just a waste of time, but I guess, you know, a good try. So I said, screw that idea. And what I came up with, and this is how I'm going to do it, uh, what I basically did is on the back here, I traced out, uh, I divided this into four sections for the four teeth, and I drew a line here and a line here. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, what I did was I, uh, I took my Dremel tool with the cutoff wheel, and I just very, very lightly ran this along those lines and just barely scored the surface of this. Uh, hardboard. Once that was scored down, you know, just a little bit, just basically giving me my outline, I grabbed my needle files and I took the needle files in there since I already had that line scored and I've just been filing in all the directions that I need to to get this down. You can see how it's, hopefully, you can see those grooves are actually getting cut down into this piece of hardboard. Now I couldn't actually get to doing this top piece that has the little uh, little tit on the end. <laughs> so uh, basically I just said screw that little piece and uh, just did straight lines there because I can't get in there with a file to do that little tiny stuff either. So I think this looks pretty good anyways, the way it is. 
I still have to cut these grooves down a bit deeper. I'm going to take them about half of the thickness of this, uh, about a sixteenth of an inch. And once those are done, uh, I'll get these primed up. Since these will be our finished surface, there's no need to uh, bondo this or anything. It's perfectly smooth. Uh, these will just go right along the inside. Make sure if you're going to do this that when you lay out your teeth you make a mirror opposite on one of them because there is a left well, and a right probably side. Probably either just epoxy these on or maybe use a little hot glue and once they're in position I'll go ahead behind those and uh, I'll fiberglass those right in. I'll fiberglass right over the backs of those and that'll be one solid piece. So that's basically it. Hope that uh, helps you guys out. Quick little idea for you. It's uh, going to be a lot easier and you're going to get a lot better result than uh, trying to make those out of paper. So take care. I'll see you guys on the next video.